This is Super D here. I'm going to show you my shoulder protocol, what we do. Lately, I've been seeing people put bands up top, put them, putting their arm behind, chicken wing, and bending down and touching the ground. You don't have to do all that mess. Had something the last nine years. It's really worked good. I learned a little bit of from Dick Hartzell. Goes like this. I grab a band and I'll get it right. The problem with benching and stuff and upper body work is this gets all gummed up. So I put a big old band right here and place it on something that doesn't move. And I'll just get it right here where all the attack muscles are catching the joint together. And I'll stand perpendicular to the band. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to just start with circle movements. You notice how this shoulder stays still? If I can do it, you can do it. Just going like this. A few circles. Get about 20 to 30 seconds. Then I'm going to cross over like this. Just like that. Again, 20 to 30 seconds for a counter, about 12. And then I'm going to punch a pro track and put it all together. And I can even go the other way into just like that into yeah, there we go. Oh, and that's great stuff. And I can actually turn around, put it on my shoulder like this, come back, push this thing here, and woo, woo, look at that. Man, I do that right before bench, and I can guarantee you I'm going to cut down on injuries like crazy. It's something we do before football practice, before powerlifting, and everything else. Man, don't, if you want to bend over, grab your ankles to get around your butthole to your shoulder, go ahead. But this is much easier to do and much more effective. Look, take the stuff I'm telling you, jam it in a syringe, inject it in your brain for some performance enhancing knowledge. This is Super D and I'll CC you on the platform.